Hello, my name is Yulia. In this module, I'm going to explore whether posting a preprint may facilitate scooping its results. As author Maskins in PhD Life notes, it seems almost a scientific law that whenever you get a brainwave, someone else usually develops the same concept at about the same time. We all have experienced the scientific competition at some points of our careers. Winning a priority race means that your grant applications will be recognized, you will have higher chances in publishing your research in high-impact journals, you may even be promoted to a better professional position, you will receive conference or other public speaking invitations. In selected cases, the scientific discovery may be named after you and your name will appear in disciplinary textbooks. And who knows? Maybe one day you may receive the Nobel Prize. On the contrary, losing the priority race is one of the most devastating experiences for the scientists. And not only because your grant applications will not be prioritized, but because all the efforts you put into the research will at most be recognized as conforming someone else's discovery. In fact, the 1974 paper reported that over 60% of physical and biological scientists consider it being scooped at some points of their career. The 2019 study among structural biologists found that scooped papers received 28% fewer citations and were 80% less likely to appear in the top 10 journals. The risk of being scooped drives scientists to rush their work by sacrificing its quality and spending less time on exploration before making decisions between uncertain options. Fortunately, there is no evidence that preprints increase risk for scooping. According to the BioArchive survey conducted in 2019 on over 3,000 preprint authors, only 1% of respondents experienced that publishing a preprint negatively affected their priority claim, while the 90% of preprint authors indicated that publishing a preprint did not affect them in any negative way. Paul Ginsberg, the founder of Archive, commented on scooping. It can't happen, since archive postings are accepted as date stamp priority. Indeed, when a preprint is posted on a preprint server, it is assigned a posted date. This timestamp is irrevocable proof of the timing of discovery that can be brought forward in future disputes. As a reminder, the journal's peer review process may take very long time during which the discovery has no official record and, generally speaking, does not exist. Eric Lander's article, The Heroes of CRISP, illustrates the unreliability of using journals for establishing the timing of disclosure with several examples. And if scooping does happen, you shall know of scooping protection policies that some publishers start offering. For example, the EMPA journal offers an assurance that similar findings will not be automatically rejected submitted during the review or revision process of a manuscript under consideration. And if a manuscript is posted on a recognized preprint server, Ember Press extends the scooping protection to the preprint. The eLife encourages co-submission of papers from labs that choose not to compete, but rather to jointly announce new findings. And review commons will require all authors to post their manuscript as a preprint prior to transfer to an affiliate journal. In return, all the affiliate journals provide authors with scooping protection from the date of posting the preprint. Unfortunately, as Lenny Tiotin and authors uh, derive in their paper published in 2021, benefits of scooping protection are negligible when either negative results are highly reported or startup costs are small. But the further reforms might help, among which they recommend increasing the startup cost to setting up single studies and increasing the payoffs for scientists who are scooped. 
Although there is no evidence that preprints increase risk for scooping, and many publishers do offer scooping protection policies, if, per chance, your work has been scooped, relax and credit will come your way. A study of races to solve protein structures shows that teams that come second still get recognition. The team estimated that scooped papers receive a credit share of 45% of total citations. Finally, what is a better demonstration of the reproducibility of a piece of research than two or more labs independently and rigorously conducting the same work in parallel? Thank you.